we're here at the uh, Trinity, which is an Airbnb in Stewiak. So this is the first of hopefully many Airbnbs that we'll be staying at in Atlantic Canada. If you know of any Airbnbs, B&Bs, even boutique hotels that you think we need to stay at, then let us know in the comment section below. So why don't you come inside and join us and see what it looks like inside. Nathan, the boys are waiting for you. You gotta go find them. They're hiding. Go find them.
but it's pretty outside. is just so beautiful that I can't help but want to make something here so we didn't bring any food for cooking because we were just coming here for one night I made Nathan go out and get food because I just wanted to try cooking in this really beautiful kitchen so we're gonna make pancakes this morning uh, nothing fancy but it's gonna be fun so let's test out this kitchen Baby, there ain't nobody like you who Close to their children. Oh, I see. The seeds are really close together. Yeah. Gotcha. But but normal strawberries are not like this. No. Okay. Eating all our strawberries that we're supposed to have with our pancakes. Yeah. <laughs> with just add pan or water pancakes because well we're at an Airbnb and we didn't feel like getting like every piece of grocery like every grocery you would need to be able to make pancakes on our own so we went with the simplest plan with the fewest amount of groceries <laughs> to be able to pack and bring home later and uh, so that's what I'm doing I'm making two cups of just add water pancakes because we're fancy over here Let's be honest, even when I'm at home and I can make a full set of pancakes, I am basically the laziest cook in the world, and I almost always use these anyway. Hi Wilder, come say hi. And so, it's rare for me to make pancakes from scratch, even though I know I'm sure it's easy. Just comment below with, I love Just Add Water pancakes, because, you know, not all of us love the full cooking experience. Just the sum of the cooking experience. Pomplamoose juice break? Well, I wait for the band to warm up. I like to drink grapefruit juice in the morning sometimes. Cheers! Tell 
We just wanted to talk about the general impression of how we really enjoyed this Airbnb. So when we first got here, it was like... Uh, it was awesome. It's just stepping in, <laughs> stepping into like a... It's almost like stepping into an amusement park. Yeah. Almost awe-inspiring. You walk in and you're like, whoa. It was very... Yeah. It was very... Yes. Like stepping into a whole unique and different place. Really. Right? Absolutely. The double doors really help with that. Because Step through the double, double, uh, the double doors. Step through the double doors. Double, double doors. I have no intention of going to ask about. Enough of this. Take him. You may not like him, Minister, but you can't deny. Double doors got style. Step through the double doors and into this like beautiful setup. Um, so. We all really loved it as a family. Mm -hmm. Yeah, great first impressions. The, the, this place has so much character and beauty, and fun little like surprises as well. Like so, it's it's set up with a Google Google Home, and so like you can ask Google to like turn on different lights in the water fountain and all kinds of things. Yeah. Lots of fun little features. So that brings us to the family friendliness of this place. At first we weren't totally sure, like when we were looking it up, it looks really fancy. And even when you come in, you feel like, oh my gosh, this is super fancy. Should we have kids here? Yeah. Yeah. But, I think every parent has that fear when they get somewhere nice. The minute much. you get somewhere nice, you're like, oh no, <laughs> are my kids going to wreck this? Yeah. yeah. But honestly, it really is like even like the jungle in the, in the kitchen thing and like just the different features, it, it really is family friendly. Uh, I think you might still feel a little bit nervous when you come anyways because it is such a beautiful space that feels more for adults, but our kids loved it. Am I right? Yes. Yep. Yes. Oh my gosh, they what, have loved it. What was place. your favorite part, Wilder? Uh, mm, can right. I show you? No, uh, you can't no. show us. You'll yeah, just have to tell us. Yeah. Tell the camera. Uh, It's that. What's that? Oh, the parrot. The parrot yeah. light. The parrot light. Yeah. Okay. Yep. Yeah, that's that's Wilder's favorite. Corbett, what's your and, favorite? Um, my favorite part is probably just how open it is. Mm -hmm. Like, can... yeah, we can we like ran around all night. <laughs> that's true. Last night, like, yeah, until they were going to bed at like eight. But yes. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and uh, and normally we would be worried about that, but the the owner Jim. He specifically told the kids that uh, if he can't hear them running around, then he doesn't think they're having fun. So, so he, he gave them the, the green light to, to have a little fun. Yeah. We still tried to keep it respectful and, uh, and, and not too, too crazy, but at the same time, you know, we did, that did help us feel a, like a lot more comfortable to allow the boys to just kind of be kids here. So, uh, so that was really nice. So they've really loved it. We've really loved it. I'm pretty sure that they would both, like, we would all just move in here if we could. Yeah. 
Because <laughs> it's gorgeous and yeah. it's amazing. I'm a very terrible sleeper, to be honest, and I kind of need very specific conditions. But this bed was really comfortable, Super really, comfy. really nice. And so uh, you don't always get that kind of going to other places. Sometimes yeah. it's just kind of a whatever mattress, but this one's actually really, really nice. And uh, I really enjoyed it. So I had yeah. a good sleep. These and how were the, how were the sofa beds? Good. Well, I, I don't know about Wilder's, but mine was good. You like yours? You Wilder, how was your bed? Did you sleep well? No. No? No, he had a nightmare. Oh, he had a bad dream. He slept pretty well last night. He slept all the way through the night, and they both seemed pretty comfortable. It's too bad about bad dream. But, uh, yeah, so everybody was comfortable. Uh, we all had our own places to sleep, and we all got some good rest. And woke up to a beautiful sunrise. Really yes. enjoyed the fire last night. Yeah. Um, that was nice to sort of, after the kids went to bed, to relax by the fire. One of the, one of the things that you don't hear on Airbnb is what's in the area. So as far as like uh, places to eat, you have a lot of fast food options in Stewiak. And then there's two, two sort of restaurants in Stewiak. Mm -hmm. We ate at Whistler's Pub last night. We brought it in. <laughs> we did, we like we liked the atmosphere here. This is where we wanted to eat. Yeah, loved the fries. Yeah, the fries, really were, fry, the fries were quite good. And uh, yeah, and it was a busy place, so I, I expect there's a lot of great things on the menu. As vegetarians, we always it's always a little harder for us, but yeah. that's right. They had a veggie burger, and it was it was pretty, it was okay. It was yeah. good. It was a good veggie burger, but the fries were really nice. I really yeah. Like so there's actually a really nice coffee shop across the street, mm. and they actually gave, give free coffee to the people who stay here, which is pretty amazing. So we got a free coffee, and mm. I got tea, and because I don't drink coffee. <laughs> And we got some delicious almond croissants. Yep. They're yep. And so good. I think uh, so. Not long ago, I wasn't a vegetarian, and I was searching for the world's best Reuben. Yep. So I, I've now picked my new food. It's going to be croissants. <laughs> nice. And we'll uh, have to go back to France. <laughs> yes, we'll have to go back to France. But uh, croissants. Yeah. But the uh, this this little cafe across the street, you'll see it in the video. But. Uh, it's not the place that you'd expect to find really great croissants, but they uh, really did have ah! really great croissants. Strongly recommend getting croissants and your free coffee while you stay here. I think you just don't expect it because it's just a tiny little, it's a really, really small little coffee shop. So you, I wouldn't have even thought that they would have much. Yeah, like it looks like something you'd find on the beach and order ice cream from. Our general impression of the stay here is that it is gorgeous. It's fun. It's comfortable. It's just, it's unique and interesting and you just sit like the whole time you're just like seeing new things and it's hard to not be just excited when you get to do the next thing, like including just like finally at night we got to sit down and have a nice fire, right? Like all of the things were just really, really nice. We had a really comfortable time. Jim, super friendly, super oh, yeah. nice, great host. We really like him. Yeah. Uh, one of the things I like about Jim is... Uh... Sometimes you can have hosts who seem cold, and sometimes yeah. you can have hosts who want to basically like hang out with you the entire time you're here. Yeah. And, and I really found that Jim was like a really happy balance, <laughs> great at reading reading how much we wanted him around. Right. Yeah. So right. I mean, he's a great host. Yeah. yeah. Great we host. really love talking to the host because, especially places like this, we want to know more about it. I wish we had gotten it on camera, but we didn't. Um, just to learn more about you know what it was like to build this apparently he thought it was going to take him about a couple of months maybe six months and it took him three years <laughs> to get this done <laughs> and apparently a lot more money than he had thought to so you know just like learning about what it was like to do something as unique as this was really interesting and we really did enjoy talking with him but again then he wasn't like i'm just going to stick around all night and, and chat which we have had with hosts before as well so uh, but yeah, so for us, so if you want to know more specifics about like, the amenities and all that kind of stuff, absolutely check it out on Airbnb. It has a full list there. The reason why we decided to come here is one, because we are on a search to find unique and really interesting places to stay in Atlantic Canada. This wasn't super far from our place, um, but it was really unique and it serves as a way to just kind of break up the regular bits of life, right? Like that kind of day in day out work and school and whatever if you're just looking for a way to kind of break up you know life a little bit and try to find something interesting to do then just find a unique stay on airbnb because there's so many if you're not in nova scotia and you can't come to this one there are plenty out there and it's just a really fun thing yeah. to do every once yeah. in a while. You can search for unique stays on Airbnb. That's one of, that's one of the ways that we found this one. So if you're staycationing this is a great spot 
And if you're coming from afar, also a great spot. Stewiak is centrally located <laughs> between Halifax and Truro, so, and it's really good for being able to reach different areas. But we're going to leave a link to this Airbnb in the description below. We had a good, great time. You guys had a great time? Yes. All thumbs up. Thumbs, thumbs up, everybody. Up. Thumbs up. <laughs> and we hope you'll keep joining us every, every further, further mile. mile.